and welcome to Mathematics Galaxy. So today we uh, discuss a very beautiful problem of functional analysis from a book, a very popular book. And this problem is just awesome problem. I and mean, this is just uh, not a beginner, not a high level problem, just an intermediate, indeter intermediate problem. So let us just uh, at first write the problem. So it's from functional analysis, as you said. So like uh, the space is given here is this, like C, 0, pi. Okay. So this space C0 pi, indeed we know that this is the space of all continuous functions and with subnorm. Okay. So the norm, the default norm or the usual norm here, it is the subnorm norm. Okay. And with this subnorm norm, this C0 pi is uh, generally a Banach space as it means a complete non-linear space. Now the thing is that uh, there is a linear functional uh, defined on this space. Okay. So just theory this, let's say L of F maps from C01 to R, okay. So LF means, so L is the linear functional and we know that linear functional means uh, a mapping from a non-linear space or some uh, non-linear space to uh, a generally real number set, okay. That is called linear functional. Means from you, from vectors, you can get uh, a real number. That is what a linear functional really means. Basically, you can generally define on non-linear space uh, for for like uh, good things. Okay, I mean, if you define on non-linear space, then you can get some good, beautiful things, good characteristics of the this linear function. So the defined is definition is this that L of f is defined by as usual that's the zero to pi. So this is defined in the measure sense or the integration sense. Uh, f x into sine. So I think sine, not sine, sine square x. Yes, sine square x dx okay so as you see that this is the very default uh, default kind of a norm okay now so we need to find out the uh, norm of this linear function okay the norm of this linear function what okay so we know that what is the norm of linear function means like this that it's l so the norm should be like some constant into like the function a okay if we can find this kind of thing then we say that this thing right here, let's say this is k, k should be the norm of this linear function. But not always we can uh, show like this uh, equality symbol in mathematics. So, like uh, showing something, some result in equation is very difficult. Sometimes we can get the help of from like uh, from any equation. Okay. So what is so like this? That norm of l so less equals to some constant k into norm of l, and then we can like uh, find some function f so that. So that, uh, like uh, the value of this function is generally like uh, that constant, the basically the modulus of that function, and the modulus of that L. Then we can claim that this case would be the norm of that. Okay. So we basically apply that formula here. Correct. Okay. So let's just uh, like uh, dig deep and let us see that what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm just using this. So this is a function. So as usual, you start from like this, that uh, mod of L, norm of, uh, norm of L is generally less equals to, means basically it is called the uh, mod, of, mod of L or modulus of L, okay? So you basically start from this, mod of L. That would be less equals to 0 to pi, and you take the mod over here, over okay, sine squared x to dx. Generally, sine squared is this basically uh, non-negative, so you don't have to give the modulus here. You can just keep the modulus here, okay? So from here, you can get like this, that uh, this would be less equals to mod of f, 0 to pi, uh, sine squared x, dx, okay? Not only mod, which is basically, that is the uh, uh, norm of the function f, okay? That is very important, norm of the function f, okay? So norm of the function f means this is the supremum norm on this, uh, c zero one. Okay, sometimes it is very tricky to understand. All right, so now you can find the value of this, and if you just do some normal calculation, you can find that the value of this should be I have done here, like uh, pi by two. Okay, like you just multiply and divide by two, then it will be two sine square x, and what is two sine square x? It's basically one minus cos two x, and just put the value and get the answer of this. Okay. So what we get here? Okay, so now uh, what we get here? It's uh, like very important. So what you get here like this, that this is less than pi by two into norm of f. Okay. So we 
dominated function so that uh, the value of this thing or the modulus of this thing basically the absolute value should be pi by 2 and you can get that very easily like if you take fx equals to 1 then like uh, lf mod that should be pi by 2 okay so from here as i said earlier here we can claim that a norm of f is generally pi by 2 okay and this is a very beautiful and very important uh, function not only function it's basically uh, basically in Major theory. So, functional analysis and major theory they are like uh, very much closely related. Okay, you cannot just uh, think about one thing uh, like except that other thing. So, that norm should be pi by 2. So, this problem is very beautiful, not only that, but also this function is really very beautiful. Okay, and this function you can remind of this kind of like Fourier transformation or something like that. Okay, and it is very much important in called uh, harmonic analysis because you can see there is sine and there is fx. So, just uh, like putting some fx there and you getting something some modulation of uh, the function sine squared x all right so thanks everyone for watching and hope you like this video and if you really like this video then just you know share with your friends if you just understand the whole thing otherwise just don't do anything just watch this video